Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how you can flash the firmware for a prototype or for a custom board in Betaflight. So that is, if, if you've got the board that's, that's all new or that's, that's handmade or something and there is no uh, entry for that board in uh, Betaflight configurator but you were given a config file for it, how you can properly install that config file on that board. So in Betaflight Configurator, as you'd expect, you go into the Firmware Flasher tab. Now first of all, you need to select the proper unified target firmware to be used with this board. To find out what that is, you open the config file that you were given with the board. You can open this with any kind of text editor, notepad or so. And you look at the file and in the very first line of the file, Right after beta flight, there is the name of the <coughs> unified target to be used. So you go into the target list now and they all start with STM. So you scroll down to STM and you select the right one. Just confirm again STM32F405, STM32F405. So that's, that's all good. Then next step is you click on low firmware local. Again you go and you select the target that the target configuration that you were given. Let's check again that's the right one. Yes, same name here. So that's the configuration that I want. Open this. Then next step is go on to load firmware online. This will pull down the unified target firmware. Once this is loaded, click on flash firmware. This a little bit of a wait. So you wait while it's erasing the flash. Then installing the firmware, including your configuration. and we're done. So when the correct port pops up up here again to verify that the install has worked click on connect. It will ask you to apply custom defaults. Yes we want to do that. Port reboots again. When the port is ready again click connect. And now as you can see up here the target name is the name of the target the custom configuration that we just installed. So that looks all good. And if that's all worked, if you move the board, you'll see the little 3D model move. That means gyro and accelerometer have been properly recognized. So that's all working now. Thank you very much.